that's what they're looking for. They want, you know, the new up and coming actors. Hi, I am Lauren Lee Smith. So for me, I guess when I first decided I wanted to be an actor, uh, it's like 1987 and I was six or seven years old and uh, it was Jennifer Connelly and David Bowie in a film called Labyrinth. And I watched this movie and it just, it drew me in. And I, I remember watching that movie and going, oh my God, I want it. That's what I want to do, mommy. I want to be an actor. I want to create these stories and these fairy tales and live in these kinds of worlds. Um, so that's sort of what sparked it for me. Um, and then from that point on, it was um, a lot of theater, pretty much, yeah. I will never forget <laughs> an audition that I had here in Vancouver with a casting director and a director. And um, they were very harsh to me and I left the audition room crying, but I will never forget it. And it changed my whole sort of perception. Like the director looked at me and he was like, we're gonna do that again. And you need to listen, you're not listening. You know, you're waiting to say your line. You're waiting for your part. You need to stop all this BS, whatever you have worked out in your head, whatever you're trying to do. And he really was that harsh. And he's like, all these preconceived ideas that you have, what you want to show, what you think you should show, let it go, be in the moment, be present and listen. And for me, that stuck with me so much because <laughs> it was like, holy crap. Yeah, of course, that's what we do as actors. I think the most important thing is to, if you know, to, to meet a few and to really like, it's all about chemistry and finding the right fit. And I have certainly, you know, I've had my share of different agents and managers um, over the years. And, you know, if it's not the right fit, it really doesn't, it doesn't work if you guys aren't on the same page, if you don't have the same sort of goals. Um, and so, you know, just put yourself out there ask to go in and take the meetings you know even if you have to do cold reads or whatever it is to get your foot in the door most agents especially if you are starting out that's what they're looking for they want you know the new up and coming actors so um so i would say yeah it's really like take meetings take as many meetings as you can even if you know you think you've never heard of the agency before up to the best agencies just meet them all and see who you feel connected to because ultimately that's that's going to make the difference a lot of people asked me the last few years if i would get into directing um and it's not really on my it's not on the plate for me right now for me directing is so it's it's a craft all on its own and um, I feel like, you know, I think just because I was on a show for a few years, people were like, oh, you should direct an episode. And I'm like, there is so much more to it than that. And I don't want to just get a directing credit for the sake of getting a directing credit. Like I want to know, you know, I want to know about framing and lenses and, and all of the stuff that a director needs to know, like, which is mind blowing to me how much a director needs to know. Um, so I wouldn't want to do it unless I feel incredibly confident in that job. Um, I got into producing a little bit a few years ago um, and ended up producing a film called Cinema Novels um, and that we got into TIFF with that film, which was incredible. And that was an amazing experience for me and something I really enjoy just sort of, you know, being able to um, have your hands in all aspects of the film. And screenwriting, I've never had, I've tried, I've never had the patience to be able to sit down or the discipline to be able to sit down and, and really focus on it. But, you know, who knows, perhaps at some point during a quarantine or something, it will, uh, it'll happen. <laughs> I think the only time that thought hit me is uh, a few years ago when I became a mother. And ultimately that's, that's the only time I've ever really felt that way. But the unpredictability of this job and the instability of this job and the fact that we rely 100% on other people to you know, provide us work and give us work 
that's, you know, it's really tricky to navigate um, as a single person with, you know, with less responsibilities. But the minute you sort of, for me, the minute I put a child sort of in, in the mix of that, it became very like, oh my gosh, this is so overwhelming. And we don't know when the next job is gonna be or when the job that we currently have is gonna be over. Um, so I had some, you know, anxiety and mixed feelings about it at that point. But I also know ultimately this is what I love to do. And this is, you know, what I've been doing for 21 years. So you also have to kind of let it go and trust that, uh, that things will work out the way that they're supposed to. It's never worked out for me to try to have the, the reader on screen, to have a reader who is able to physically be there, which I know in these times it's really difficult to do, but if you're able to you know, do it in a socially distant, safe way, I think it makes a huge difference to have someone to be able to connect, connect with in person. And the other one I've noticed, which I'm still trying to figure out too, is having like a good microphone. Because a lot of times when I'm taping with someone, their voice is much more present than mine or vice versa. If it, you know, the, the reader is a lot more present. So that's something I need to figure out as well. Good reminder. Um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, actually I do. I, I think that the self-taping world is, you know, if you take COVID out of it, um, it's pretty, it's pretty great that, that we're sort of moving into that and being able to have the freedom to, you know, explore and play with these auditions a little bit more than we would be able to in the room. It's really, really important for, for young actors to get on set experience. So if you can get out there and do student films, if you can like create your own little films, whatever you can do to get the on set experience, whether it's a tiny set of three people or, you know, a huge set, whatever it is, um, just do it and get that practice and get that um, experience, I think. Um, and then the other thing is, um, it's very hard to do, but trust your gut. And that's something I wish that, you know, I would have have learned a little bit earlier than I did instead of, you know, constantly listening to, you know, what everyone is telling you you should be doing or how your career is supposed to look and, you know, who you should be trying to emulate and what career you should be, you know, striving for. It's a personal thing. It's a personal journey. You know, anything in the arts is. So trust yourself and trust what it is you want and dig deep and find out what your goals are. Um, and then just stick stick to that and leave the sort of outside noise, you know, as far away as possible, which isn't easy to do, but, um, but try, yeah.